welcome to the service clinic at Low Country Harley Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. A lot of you guys out there do your own services and you're doing a great job, but I've got a pointer I want to point out to you, a tech tip that you need to look at. I'm working on a 2008 here and we took it in on trade-in and we go over it like a fine-tooth comb every trade-in to make sure it's safe and up to your quality when you purchase it. Well, we noticed that the rear brake was kind of bleeding down. It was working, but bleeding down. So we went for further investigation. And this is why we're having this tech tip. This is the original brake line. And right here, it wore through. Just a little pinhole, but just wore through. Now, where is this located? It is located right underneath the cam cover. And if you can see, there's the clutch cable that goes right underneath the cam cover. So where the frame, the clutch cable, and the brake line cross, all going to their other destinations, clutch cable, of course, comes underneath, comes around, and goes up. The brake follows the frame, comes up, and goes around to the front mount area. They all are in very close proximity. Now, you and I know that Harley-Davidson motors are rubber-mounted, and they vibrate up and down, up and down. Well, this up and down, this brake line is wire tied to the frame, but yet this over here is to the master cylinder and the motor is moving up and down with the cam cover and the clutch cover. So everything can kind of come together once in a while in movement. And the more age you have on your motorcycle, the more you need to look. Yes, you're servicing, you're checking your brake fluid and you're changing the oil and you're doing a great job, but you need to take a high powered flashlight, follow your brake line. I mean, take the covers off, follow it from the caliper through here, down here, because you can see how close this gets to the frame. Then it comes down, and then underneath, we also follow, and then it gets lost underneath this cam cover and goes up. This is the area that can take out a clutch cable because it's rubbing on the motor. It can take out the brake line, as we're doing today. It can rub on a lot of stuff because this is moving. And with age, it is harder and harder to get these parts. This is a 2008. We could not get the factory line. They're obsolete. The, the newer the years, the older parts are being obsoleted. And it took us a month to get the aftermarket braided line because it had to come off of back order. And you know how everything is backing up. So you save a lot of money by checking looking at your brake line, your clutch line, everything about it. Follow the flow and see where it's close. And you can pry just a little bit up if it's getting too close to an object. Separate them with wire ties. You know, put a wire tie here, wire tie here, and only the wire ties are rubbing each other. Find a way to always examine all your brake lines, all your clutch cables, anything that goes to the motor or to the frame and it's moving up and down. I had to share this with you because it's just one more thing that you need to make part of your servicing your Harley-Davidson. I'm Doc Harley. We'll see you next week.